This situation with Christy and Damo is definitely getting out of hand, and now Dominic is being bored in this situation. It got super crazy today on Twitter. Christy started it off. She said, it was not my decision to not be in my son's life, period. Meaning that she's currently not seeing Dominic right now. She then goes on to say, I don't have custody, and every time she gets mad, she tells me I can't pick him up. Then somebody brought up Jamila and her being in the household, which I knew this was going to eventually be a problem because every time I look at the Snapchat, I always see them together. She's saying Jamila has her own crib. I don't know. Here's where the issue lies. And this is why it's so much back and forth. Damo said, I gave Chrissy two years to adopt Dominic. She chose not to. She chose this. She chose to put other people before him. Not my problem. I'm doing what's best. End of discussion. Then Chrissy goes on to say, I didn't adopt him because I procrastinated. I thought we was always going to be together. And I felt like even if we broke up, she would never do some ish like this. That was my fault. I don't need paperwork to prove my love for him. Adoption ain't just signing some papers, sis. When you start telling people you can do whatever you want, you got to have some paperwork to back that up. Because Dom had a problem with Chrissy putting her girlfriend on YouTube. She's saying like, listen, if you're going to put your girlfriend on YouTube, don't put Dominic on YouTube. And Chrissy said that she could do whatever she wants. Well, what paperwork, sis? You can't talk crazy unless you got that paperwork. Now, they continue to go back and forth and I'm going to post up all of their comments. I just wanted to point this out because Damo got real shady in this tweet. She said, I didn't want to do this, but Dominic is far too precious to be an option. He's a priority. When someone just connected or reconnected, are you being petty or not? Can take all your time and attention and you only ask about him twice a week out of guilt then it's a no for me dog what are you trying to say sis is this part two to the song let this out she said trust me if chrissy was to actually care give an f or a shit about something and i'm not talking about buying gifts i'm talking about being there focus on him it would be a different story but y'all see where her priorities lie i get that the whole back and forth on twitter is a little petty but i do agree with damo to a certain extent and i pointed this out in my previous video if y'all go check that out the link is down below first of all you got this girl in your house you barely even know this girl then on top of that there's a issue with the whole smoking situation all of a sudden you gotta have it now okay and then you telling me that i'm not entitled to say what goes on in your house and to a certain extent damo is not but when you have a little kid like this that can't talk and express itself and the fact that you ain't got no custody for this kid you have to listen to the actual parent and if the parent doesn't want this then she's entitled to say that and the fact that chrissy is not coming around it's not that she doesn't want to be in dominic's life let's not get this twisted chrissy said i don't have custody and every time she gets mad she tells me I can't pick him up. All Chrissy can do is just wait it out until Damo cools down and then she's able to pick up Dominic but she has to respect the fact that when she does pick up Dominic there is some rules to picking up Dominic. I'm not saying who's wrong right here because I think both of them are wrong. You're putting a child in this situation and it's hurting the child especially if he connected with both of y'all. But at the same time paperwork conquers all you can't trust nobody you gotta get that paperwork signed period leave comments down below let me know what you're thinking until next time peace